Hello everyone and welcome! I am Eddie and we are playing Warlock Master of the Arcane. Alright, so in the last episode we uh, discovered one of the anchors uh, that we need to destroy. And we took, we took care of um, the unit that was defending it. Alright, so yeah, he can move but he can't use... Uh, Alright, so... He's good here, so we just need to enter and right we have a new stubborn up unit. Okay. And apparently the anchor is considered a part of the monster faction instead of the drummer faction. Okay, and we recruited another uh, stubborn knight. Anyway, we have... Uh, Alright, so here we're going to go for the melee resistance. Yes, yeah, so here we were building um, all the uh, perks uh, building. Let's go for the magic bazaar. Alright, so our first uh, vampiric weapon enchantment. I think I'll put it on him. As a melee unit, he'll. Um, since we use it, uh, we use him as a tank. Uh, the vampirism will be very useful. I guess he can just come here and attack. I'd like to see how it works. Uh, here I'm doing 25 damage. And he has 27 hit points. And uh, he has 32 hit points, so yeah, it works well. And we get to level up. Uh, so the zone of control, yeah, it gives a movement point penalty to all uh, enemy units um, that are in contact with him. 
I'm going to give him the bonus to attack on weakened units. We will stand right here. All right, so I'm going to need to heal him. Uh, which means... Dorvaha, Dorvase. I wonder... Can you stun uh, a building? I never tried that. Nope. That seems logical, but still... Balls at the ready! Alright, more than half damage in uh, just one turn. Um, Alright, we have a Great of Fire Elemental here. So I'm going to bring him up Clear -eyed and ready. to help um, yes, my lord. our wire here. Alright, so you just stay uh, here. There's a UI wrap. Uh, you sentry. Okay, so uh, let's continue with the vampire uh, weapon enchant. And we still have monsters have popping up for uh, wash, no apparent Lord. reason. We have a new quest. Again, um, we need to kill uh, an advanced unit. And again, it's for Helia. So we are going to be really good pals with uh, him or her. Kilia sounds like a feminine name. Alright, and we'll get Drought. Uh, yeah, we don't really care about it, but the money and the relations are okay. And anyway, even if we refuse the quest, uh, the unit will still be here, so...
let's check. Yeah. Okay, so here we wanted to... So let's uh, remove the rogue's guild. And... Uh, at the library, I think. Yeah, that's... Um, Here, let's put a harbor. Uh, yes, so let's check. Well, let's first. Um, I uh, could use vampirism on him, but he, he's not a priority right now. Uh, does it have... Um, yeah, possibility healing, so... And he has all kinds of bonuses. Alright, so let's see... I think I'm going to give Vampire Weapon on to him for now. My lord. Let's see how he does. Oh, and get a nice spell with it. All right. Okay, and here we should be able to destroy both of those. Well, almost. Alright, and he got a new level, so... So, melee missile, elemental death. Yeah, he really needs uh, Elemental and Death Magic uh, resistance. Light awaits. All right, so we get a magical item. Which is good because um, we really don't have uh, well, the few we got were all the same type. So, and we get the spell Armageddon. Thirty elemental magic damage on uh, two rings of uh, hexes. So good uh, area of effect, but uh, not uh, great damage.
So experience mine. Oh, that's a good one also. It's uh, so we are going to get two spell: agile mine and experience mine that increase um, our uh, casting points, and another magic item. So I am going to. Okay, so what uh, is probably here then? Yeah, experience mind. So it takes two turns and it gives a uh, 30% uh, bonus to casting speed. So it's not as good as this one, but uh, they stack, so. And let's um, uh, just to compare. Let's see. Well, Vampire Weapon Enchant is uh, casting time one turn. So as you can see, you can see the, the dec decimals. Uh, so here we have a round one turn number, so we'll be able to um, uh, to see the, the difference when we have cast Experience Mind. So it won't decrease the casting time by one third. It will uh, just um, increase our casting points that from this bar by 30% so we already have a um, 20% bonus so we will go from 120% to 150% uh, I believe alright so alright so we have uh, spiders and an ogre All right. So yeah, another ogre popped up from the spawning point. Alright, so marches here leveled up. Speak. Okay, gold for mana. Yeah, I'm going to accept even though it's a uh, lopsided uh, deal because I really have enough mana right now. And I think... Um, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start recruiting some more advanced units. Um, and an archer of Helia also. And I also need some more settlers to 
settled this part of um, this, this uh, small continent. So I probably need at least uh, yeah a lot. So let's. Yeah, I'll need both uh, human and um, and eleven settlers. Sakura and I. Okay, so here unfortunately uh, let's see uh, nope that won't work. I was uh, looking if I could um wait her e hate does he has um yeah, possibility here. So one, two, three. Here he could use his um, AOE ability to take care of those two. Row, oh hey. Oh, and unfortunately, yeah, I think, um, let's see, yeah, I can't use it on uh, an empty square. Let's try that. I should have waited before after I had played that um another mistake. Uh, let's see. Ardania's finest. Right, that was a nice hit. Right in here, yes, we are on the top of the map. And using our archers unit to explore is not a good idea, so... Uh, Sentry. Uh, 
Oh yes, um, him. And yes, our city is almost dead, unfortunately. I'm not sure if it will help having um, whoops, having him inside the city. Alright, so next time we'll be able to cast um, this one, and maybe next turn, the turn after that, we'll be able to cast uh, the other one and um, get a lot of uh, spell points to use. We will stand right here. Yeah, there was a greater fire elemental down there, so I'll have to be careful. You have received a new request. All right, and this was just a meteorite. Okay, so we have another quest uh, to build a city. Okay, we just uh, launch, launched um, the training of a lot of settlers. So, all right, so. Yeah, elemental resistance, uh, she's good. Let's go for the oops, the extra healing power. Right, so now let's see. So vampiric weapon was one, and it's it's still one. That's not. Uh, Maybe it won't take effect until next turn. Yeah, because I think regret healing was also 0.8, so... Oh, and I forgot to... So let's make sure, yes, it's here. Uh, I guess it will only take effect next turn. We'll uh, I'll check again. Uh, but one thing I completely forgot to do is the fact that we got some new magic items that we could use. Yeah, two. Uh, so resistance to elemental magic and 10% unit power. And resistance to death magic and three regeneration. So I think... Yes, I'm going to use the regeneration one on him. Uh, since he was pretty weak in death magic resistance, and uh, since he's a melee unit, um, having regeneration is uh, pretty good. Yeah, she doesn't really need uh, any more elemental magic resistance, but... Uh. Alright.
So yeah, that should be quick. Oh, and there's some more around there. Ardania's finest. And I'm not sure... Yeah, this part is completely blocked, uh, we can only go through here. Why equalize sir? Our prayers are heard. Dovaha, dovase. Let's heal you. I Han And you stay with them. We will stand right here. Yeah, the first level up for the Stolen Knight, I think, will always be the Blade Wall. No, it's not a rival great mage, it was me. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Our city survived. Okay, we're going for some more money in here. And same here. Alright, so, oh, unfortunately we didn't finish uh, casting, um, uh, researching this one. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go for another vampire um, enchantment. And let's enter... Alright, and we have another Drummer Gate appearing in the midst of our empire. And apparently just the one. Oh wait, no, but that's the second one? Spell research is complete. All right, one here, one here, okay, so two of them. That's why we leave um, troops. Uh,
people and I just realized we are way out of time so I'm just I just want to check uh, so let's see Uh, who did we give it to? Yeah, Vampire Equipment, he has it. And why can't I select it? Okay. So, 20 base attack. His might be a bit uh, higher, and definitely not sure. So I'm going to put it on um, the Spirit of Life. Uh, so yes. So now let's see. All right. Yeah. So it took uh, one turn before the cost of uh, the spells were updated, but now we basically gain twenty percent. Uh, this one was at uh, 1, and it's now 0.8, this one has, was 0.8, and it's now 0.7. Alright, uh, and now we can cast Agile Mine, which gives a 100% uh, bonus, so we should see um, an even bigger um, uh, difference. So we have 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 2, so apparently they didn't make any difference um, on this one. So 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 2, 2. And what we're working is now 1 exactly. So Agile Mine, and yes I'm way out of time, so, well, way over time, so I will continue in our next episode. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, favorite, comment and subscribe. Thank you and see you later.